and today I want to go over the 2019 Keystone Bullet Premier 22RB. This is a great couples coach, an excellent layout, big rear bathroom, slide out u dinette comes in right around 5,000 pounds and is packed full of top of the line amenities. Starting off right here on the kitchen, you will see the beautiful solid surface countertops. Both the sink and the cooktop have a cover, so all of it is usable prep space right out of the gate. You can, of course, flip this over and use it as a cutting board if you so wish. And when we take it off, you will notice the large single bowl undermount sink. It is, of course, stainless, and it is a fairly deep bowl, so you're able to fit some bigger pots and pans in there. You also have the high-rise pull-out faucet, which makes washing and rinsing dishes that much easier. And moving over to the side here is that three-burner cooktop. It is recessed with the glass cover. This just flips up and back to open up your three burners. You will see that it doubles as a backsplash, but there is a, this pretty uh, gray kind of subway tile looking backsplash there as well. The knobs here do light up if you want them to. You can also shut that off. And then the oven underneath obviously is there for baking. Moving over to the side, one of the things you'll notice is that they went with white cabinetry, which I really like, especially in a smaller RV like this. It really helps open the space up and make it brighter. It's something, you know, that the residential trend is doing, but you haven't really seen it in many RVs. Plenty of space right there for a trash can. And then right next to that, you have your two full extension drawers for your flatware and then some of your larger utensils like spatulas, serving spoons, knives, things like that. Coming right up to the front here, we'll open this up. You see additional storage right there, so a great spot for shoes or anything else you need to put in there. Control panel right up here on the side, including your tank monitoring panel. Your water heater does run off both LP and electric, and you can turn both of them on at the same time for faster recovery. Storage across the top here, brush nickel pulls. You have uh, st kind of a stainless and black suite of appliances, so you'll see the microwave, the hood with both light and a fan. The Medic fridge freezer combo, we'll open that up. Plenty of space in here too. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right here in the back is your thermostat. This will control your ducted AC as well as your heat. And then we scoot on into the bathroom. So, foot flush lever toilet right here. It is porcelain, which is great. Makes it nice and easy to clean. It'll stay looking nicer for longer. Plenty of space as well. You see I have lots of room for my legs. Same thing with my shoulders here. They did cut this back a little bit, but even if they hadn't, it still probably would have been sufficient space. You'll see that you have a little kind of cubby hole right up here as well as storage underneath. So you have a spot for a trash can. Maybe if you want to put like some reading material here or toilet paper, whatever, you have the space for it. A good size countertop over to the side with an electrical outlet there too. Underneath, you'll see you have a snuff space for a smaller trash can. If you don't want it out, you can put it in there and hide it. And right up top is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Right behind me, open this up, take a look at that. Big extra storage area right here, which is really cool. Uh, you know, so if you want to put like your dirty laundry basket in there or something, you can do that. And then over here is the Neo Angle shower. I'll take a step in here to kind of just show you the size. So I am six foot. As you see, I have plenty of room here. No problem at all. You're six one, six two. You can probably still shower in here without having to bend down. Also, the doors are in a, uh, a track. And so that way, when you open it up, the water goes right down into the shower pan, unlike a curtain where a lot of times it ends up on the floor. Hand wand as well. And then you have some shelves there too. Also, right outside of that, you will see the linen closet, which is awesome. So you have a spot to put all of your towels, uh, you know, washcloths, all your other goodies right there. And then you have your robe hook right here on the door itself. Right outside the bathroom, open this up. This is great because this is versatile storage space. If you want, you can remove these shelves. Uh, you know, it's nice and easy. There's a couple screws there. Just take those out. They lift right up. You'll also see that you have your hanging rod there. So if you want to hang clothes or again, as I mentioned, you can certainly use this for pantry as well. Over to this side here is the U-shaped slide-out dinette. This is awesome because it's you know, probably the best place to sit in the RV, you know, unless you want to sit on the bed. But uh, you can easily you know, sit four people here to play a game together, have a meal together. And if the guests want to stay the night, the table does drop down into a bed where two adults can comfortably sleep. Uh, you'll also notice you have windows all the way around there. So that, uh, you know, that'll help let in a lot of natural light. And on both sides, you have super easy access to storage. You just pull that out, you'll see the nice big storage trays, so that way you have a spot to put some of those larger items. The entertainment center will be located right here, so you do have a great uh, view 
uh, to the U dinette. It is on a swing arm mount, so you can pull it out and around. And also you have the multimedia center right here it is connected to. That is a DVD player if you want to watch a movie. It also controls the speakers in here and outside and is Bluetooth capable. As you can see, you have storage up above. Kind of has the nice almost uh, stick-like pattern on there. And then you have additional storage down below. When we step into the bedroom, one of the things you'll notice is the queen bed here in the center. And the reason I say you'll notice it is because it is a true residential 60 by 80 inch queen. So if you're sick of your feet hanging off at night, you don't have to worry about it here in the Premier. Also, you have storage underneath, easy to access, just lift it up like so. You'll see right over here in this floor plan, this unit does also come with a grill. Both sides have nightstands. The one side even has a little laundry chute right there. And then up above that is your mirrored wardrobe with hanging rod, as well as additional storage going across the top. Take a look at the foot of the bed. You will see that you have actual slider doors instead of curtains. So if you do have guests on the u dinette, you have some additional privacy there. And then right up top, they have a backer in the wall, so you know exactly where to mount the TV, electrical outlet, and the key TV system, which makes hooking up that TV extremely simple. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Premier 22RB. Right up front is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So you can just flip a switch to raise and lower the tongue rather than having to do it manually. You'll also see right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. And then a little bit further back are your rails with uh, space there for your battery. Coming up the front is the beautiful front cap. I think they did a great job. It kind of has like a big, almost faux windshield right there, but it looks really sharp. Also has LED lights inlaid in the side, and it is a true front cap. You can see how it wraps around the side right here. Now, not only does that help with insulation value, but because it wraps around the side, it really helps prevent water penetration. A lot of times the seals are right here on the front, and that's where the water's hitting if it's raining while you're going down the road. Having it wrap around like that, again, will really help prevent that water from getting in there. The pass-through storage, you'll see it's a very large baggage door, covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of water coming down. It is slam latch and it's magnetic, so you can put it up just like that. Again, you can see how large the opening is in there. It goes all the way through, so that way if you have larger items, you can fit them in here. You'll also notice the pegboard on this side, so that way if you, know, you want to hang up tools and stuff when you get to your destination, if you plan on hanging out for a little bit, you have space, you can do it, or you can use bungees to try to bungee some things in if you want. Uh, it's just you know, a little more utility there in your storage area. Power awning on here, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in and LED light strip so you have light at night. It has the More Ride Step Above Step System. Very, very sturdy, folks. Uh, you know, you can see I'm over 200 pounds and as I'm moving, kind of bouncing on these steps, there is no flex to them. You'll see the aluminum treads here as well, which is awesome because aluminum doesn't rust and you have the grip tape for some added traction. You'll also see the big foldable grab handle. Because the steps come out further, you want that extended handle, so that way from the first step all the way in, you have that extra control. This sticker is pretty cool. It talks about the thermal package. So folks, this one has a 30,000 BTU furnace. For a travel trailer this size, that is fantastic. So nice big furnace in there, completely enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly as well. So that way, if you are camping in some colder temps, as long as that 30,000 BTU furnace is running, it'll help push some of that air in your underbelly to help prevent things from freezing up on you. Right here, they put a backer in the wall to mount the TV. Now, if you do want uh, cable or satellite, it is a little ways away. You'll see that the plug-in for it is actually right over here. The electrical outlet is over here, so depending on the length of the TV cord on this one, you may just need a small extension cord to plug it in, but the hookups are out here for it. Right up top are your two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can sit out here and be able to listen to your music. We take a look at the wheels, gorgeous aluminum alloy wheels there, which just like your steps, they're not gonna rust on you. And if you uh, take a look, you'll see how far apart they are. That's a spread axle system. Having those split axles means that you will have more stability while going down the road for a better overall tow. Right back here is the outside kitchen. We open it up, you got the fridge right up top, open that guy up that we have some room for uh, condiments, maybe a couple beverages. You have an additional electrical outlet down here in case you want to plug anything else in. You want a coffee maker out here, or maybe a toaster in the morning. You have the capability to do that. Plenty of countertop space. The sink over to the side, additional storage right up here, which is great because it is covered. 
of course an LED light there and right here is a two burner cooktop so if you want to do some cooking on a cooktop you have that the propane quick connect is right underneath but if you're more of a grilling person I showed you that grill that we had underneath the bed right here is the arm for that so you'll mount the grill twist it around to the side and then you can do some grilling out here too that of course is attached to your square tubular bumper with end caps which gives you a spot to store your sewer hose personally just because the way I am I'll probably put it on this side not quite so close to my grill arm but you know that's definitely completely up to you right back here is the spare tire with the cover cover helps keep it in good shape and having it mounted to the bumper is probably one of the easiest places to get to it black tank flush right here in the back so that way instead of having to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank you stick it up you, st you hook the hose up right there and honestly it does a much better job because it has sprayers built in the tank to push those solids out that didn't come out with the gravity feed outside shower with both hot and cold water access right there and if you take a look up top you will see the backup camera prep if you want a backup camera, having the prep is great because it's already pre-wired, meaning it's easier to install, so it'll save you money on installation. Here on the off-door side, your key TV system is located right here, so you just take your part cable or your satellite, plug it in right there, and it feeds it to the entire camper, including the one on the outside we saw. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in right here. If you drop down underneath, you will see the termination with both the black and gray tank valves located there. And if you walk with me right up front, lastly, you'll notice your water inlet. So you have city water right here in the back. Directly in front of that is your fresh water fill to fill your fresh water tank. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Keystone Premier 22RB. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.